I think I've always been community minded and probably because of my family and parents. I think since being a brownie, it sounds funny going back to when you're a brownie, but I think maybe those things all start at that time. I was I wasn't born here. I wasn't born here, but I've been here for seven, eight years. So I feel Coventry is my home. Yeah. People get along with Coventry. There's no fast rule about it. There's no language barrier or differences. As long as they can hear what you speak, yeah, it's multicultural. You have loads of people from different countries already in Coventry, not just uh, Africans. You have the Caribbeans, you have the South Africans, Scottish. It, it is an international city, without a shadow of a doubt. You get nice people everywhere, don't you? You're nice to people, they're nice back. You give respect out, you get it back. I think, you know, it's the atmosphere, I like it. As I said before, it's a lot of mixture, mixture of people are living here with different backgrounds. So that, that's what I like uh, the most. Loads and loads of languages in Coventry. You've got Chinese, Japanese, got Persians, Greeks, Cypriots. You've got everything, in, you know, you've got everything here. Built up some great friendships here. I came here knowing nobody and I've left a lot. I've got hundreds of friends now. It's brilliant. My son already asked me, Mom, you want to come in in London? And I said, no, I'm never going to leave the Coventry because this is my hometown. And it's nice community centre here, Folzal area. I love Folzal area, all the communities there. So I don't think I'll be living in a different town, never. Yeah. Increased diversity in the population, which is a, uh, which is a great thing. Um, you know, when I first grew up, it was sort of predominantly white and then we saw the you know the changes over the years and i think it's just added a, an awful lot to the uh, to the you know the, the attraction of the city and it, it makes it a nice place to live i think uh, you know coventry is just so diverse it's so diverse and it's very vibrant and i think people don't realize how um cultural we are because we've got so many cultures here. I'd miss that diversity, I miss all the cultures, and I miss the people. The people are fantastic. Because I came from Holland in 2006, and it's not much of, uh, like, here is a lot more different uh, backgrounds, people from different countries. Well, where I came from Holland, it was just, you know, Dutch people and a few Turkish and uh, Moroccan people. That's why I think the, 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 the culture, the different backgrounds, I would miss that, yeah. I can say I'm Polish, I can say I'm Indian, but I would like to take part in British life. And uh, if I say, no, I am Indian and I am keeping my culture and tradition and my religion only to myself, then I am doing a great injustice to my host community. To me, cohesion is share with the host community don't divide and be happy about it. I think it's just bringing neighbours together. Sometimes you can, you know, live next door to a very, very diverse community, but not to get to know your neighbours. So what we really want to do as an organisation is to break those barriers down, give opportunities for people to come out and get to talk to each other and get to know each other. Because I think the more people get to know what's happening within the neighbourhood, then they get more confident to try to improve that neighbourhood and that is what we want to do. With us, um, we're, we're a big one for community cohesion, um, getting, getting everybody working together as one. Um, it's, it's what I'm trying to do is really to bring different communities together and as I said earlier there's huge influx of new communities in the area, it's important that they can all live and work and, and want to stay in the area and make it a vibrant place where everybody can live happily and freely. I have lots of reasons to like to live in Coventry because um, <laughs> first of all it's a, it has a great shopping area. It's not like crowdy like London or Manchester or some other cities. I find my peace in living in Coventry. It's very peaceful to me. I don't know why but it seems to be very peaceful to me just got involved when the Hills Radio was putting on different events in the community outside in the square and then um, I started to be asked to do radio. They asked me to uh, to, uh, to make some shows. It was quite difficult because of, quite, because of my English and also because I was quite shy uh, but I did uh, three or four shows uh, on the radio I put some French tunes. What I love about the hills is the fact that we get involved with a lot of young people. It really has like, turned my life around, um, to be honest. I mean, they've given me so much support and encouragement. 
I don't know, it's changed my life, it's mad. Community radio has got to be like really important because obviously it brings the community together. There's lots of, um, I don't know, it's like people can come in, you can, it's friendly, it's like a little family here. And then when people, are, new people are coming in, new GJs, or if there's like, um, say if there's a band that you know and you want to get them on air, it kind of it's lifts up the confidence within the whole community. Hills FM is like a knitting machine, knitting people together. The, the future for Hills is definitely a bright one, really, because there's so many students coming up here and forever improvement, we're forever a growing family. And it's wonderful to see these young people just grow in such a short space of time, you know, in confidence, um, personal skills, as well as professionally in the studio. You know, Coventry got two universities, it's a Coventry University and Warwick University. There's a lot of Chinese students here. So that's why, you know, this door here, it's, a, it's for uh, support Chinese students, for Chinese products. You know, we are newly started. We're from Bangladesh. Uh, well, I've got family here, yeah. you know. So we like, you know, to, you know, sell in market. And we came here been since uh, three, four years in market and we've seen and we're very interested to sell fruit and vegetables. Some people tend to come in. If you've got a friendly nature about you, some people will come in and have a bit of a chit chat, you know, stand here five minutes talking to you and you get your regulars coming back every week. So, I don't know, sometimes you, they're not just like customers, you'll have a, a chat to people so they become more of friends rather than just your customer that's coming up to buy sweets. I, I think by talking to them, by interacting with them, by trying to explain to them about the different coffees, um, I'm um, often commented on that I spend too much time with customers, uh, but I don't think you can spend too much time with customers. You know, you, you need to talk to them, you need to engage with them. Uh, and once you have an understanding of what they want, you can actually fulfil their needs. The stalls was originally started by my granddad in 1957. So the first few years, it was actually a fruit stall, but then my dad switched it to a veg stall because he just found it was easier to keep the stuff fresh. People will come in and they do want to talk and they, they look at the fact that they can come in and talk to you as the beneficial thing of the market whereby in a supermarket it's very impersonal isn't it you walk in oh there's your price can i talk no you can't you're out the door next one in please when here people are prepared to talk to you and i think people relate to that they like that firstly uh, motivate came to this site here which was known as the old city farm and we helped to support and develop this into what you can see today we work with majority of young people but a variety of different needs that they may have. So some may be succeeding at school and doing very well. Others may have a few issues and problems that may be happening in their lives. Kind of get a lot of positive feedback from the local community and they're really happy that something positive is happening here and they can see the changes now and stuff. So it's all, all looking good, yes. I believe the people of Coventry are the family of Coventry. I would like Britain to have that view of having everybody taking part and mixing. Yeah, I, I like the word cohesion. I much prefer it to integration because it uh, it recognises diversity, but it means that you know people from different backgrounds and cultures can sort of socialise together, work together, you know, to, towards uh, towards a common end. I mean, it's about being together. It's about trying to encourage everybody to mix together, um, different communities, and it works very well in Coventry, I think. To me, cohesive just means blending together. So I presume that cohesion sort of means the same sort of thing where all different communities can use the place and it does work in that regard.